So how to best design your 3D point cloud processing system? It can be a bit overwhelming because you have a lot of things to master. And here, this is my 10 stack process. Right now, I just want to dive onto one specific block, which is the feature extraction block. If you're already versed into 3D point cloud processing, you know that usually we will start with XYZ, which are the attributes. And then we want to extract from that a bunch of other features. And this is what these specific blocks should be doing. But the features that we want should be super relevant for either the end goal or any specific subtask, a subtask or a component or a bucket, as I call it in the complete workflow. For example, if you want to have a registration procedure that is much better at aligning different scans, well, you can use standard ICP or global uh, to local registration schematics. But what would be much more useful is if you have some specific features that will pinpoint for each point how important it is uh, for registration. For example, if it's a planar structure, then you have a planarity feature that will help you guide the registration using this planarity feature. So this is one example. Another one is for a classification. Of course, here, when we use deep learning techniques, we usually rely on the model to extract for us the features that should be the best out of anything else. But when you don't have a lot of data, usually it's best to resort to feature extraction that use your um, domain knowledge, uh, data knowledge, algorithm knowledge. So this is the specific bucket feature extraction that is often super overlooked by anyone that is not very technical, but that should be the core fundamental uh, focus of your entire pipeline. All right. So if you want to see the complete workflow, just check my video just down below that has everything for you to understand about point cloud processing. See you very soon.